Hi everybody! I hope everybody's doing good. I have a video today of um, a stationery box that I made. I saw the tutorial on YouTube and on SplitCoatStampers.com so I thought I would give it a try because it looked really interesting. I'm also trying a different way of um, filming because I've had complaints from certain commenters, you know who you are, that they can't see stuff but it's hard for me to um, film it myself unless I just hold the camera and then it's just not steady so I'm gonna try anyway to see how steady it will be. So this is my stationery box and um, I originally made it for um, a good friend of mine named Sydney but I'm not sure if I'm going to give her this one because I would want to give one to my friend Megan as well and <clears throat> excuse me I'm making two that match so I might give them each one that's the same so you know. Okay, so here's the cover. This um, this flower here was made by um, Mrs. Nickel. Is it 2009? Mrs. Nickel 2009, I believe. And this paper here is, I think, Heidi Grace paper. And then some green cardstock and some purple cardstock. And some, this ribbon is really cool. If you look at it, I don't know if it's showing up on the phone, but it's green. But if you look at it a certain other way, the middle looks purple as well. So it was interesting. A friend of mine gave that to me at a crop. So, And then it opens like this. And we have some tags here. I have um, a different color ribbon in here. Purple, satin, and sheer. So I have green and purple and green and purple. So that's what the tag looks like. Nothing on the back. Oops. And then we have some cards here, the three inch cards. These were, these and the envelopes were hellish for me to make because I had never done it before. The envelopes were not fun. But finally, the day after the crop I went to, they, um, more magically easier so I'll show the little envelope that I made because I'm extremely proud of it yeah very hard <laughs> and then these are the I just used store-bought envelopes for these this is the card that I made it's pretty um, pretty simple just the squares on the front there nothing inside and then it comes with, um, oops, comes with a, a little, um, book of paper. And then this is supposed to hold stamps, but I don't have stamps yet. And then this is just a pen that I covered with, um, that cardstock. I didn't do a very good job. Also another reason why I wasn't going to give it to her, because if you can see, I kind of ripped the edges up and, yeah, it was not not my best work <laughs> but it would be fine for myself if I kept it and then maybe the next ones will be better but I really enjoyed making it with the exception of those envelopes but now that I know how to make them everything will be fine <laughs> so yeah that is um what I did for my stationary box so I'm just gonna move this out of the way here and give you a little um a little haul and it's mostly going to be beads my husband got for me last week <clears throat> in the States. So these were from Walmart and they were a dollar each and this is, um, I don't know if you can see that. It says mixed brown right here. But it's just a mixture of brown beads. I hope that it's clear enough because I really don't want to have to record this again. <laughs> And then these ones I think were two dollars each, and these ones are just uh, red, red glass beads, because um, I really, really love making the um, stick pins. So yeah, it says glass bead, 125 piece glass, six millimeter round red. So I don't think that that's coming up on the camera, but I assure you it is there. <laughs> And then we have another one, and these ones are um, pink glass crackle mix. I really love these ones because they have that crackle effect inside, and I think they're beautiful. 
I saw some beads, uh, I mean some stick pins on Etsy that had beads like that in there. And I'm really glad that he was able to find them for me. I don't know if it's the sh same shade of pink, but it looks pretty similar. And they were, um, probably, what were they? I think it was three or four for five dollars. I mean, they were really pretty. And they didn't have that, um, that pearl bead on the top. So that was, that was nice. <laughs> and then here's some, um, brown, red, orange, I guess. To me, they look like an amber color in their crackle as well. And then uh, we have some of these dollar ones. I'm sorry if the camera's shaky. Like I said, it's hard for me to film um, without the tripod and keep it straight. <laughs> these ones were a dollar, and they're like pink, and they have red and blue metallic like spot splashes on them. They're pretty cool. And then these ones here, which is the last. Nope, there's one more. Sorry! <laughs> These ones here say um, pink mixed. So just some pink beads. Pretty cool. I might get those um, pins from Etsy. If I can remember the seller's name. <laughs> and these ones are um, from the dollar bin and they have all different colors like splotched on them. And they're blue. Pretty. So that is it for this little haul and my stationery box, which I'm actually really love, and that's probably why I don't want to give it up, because <laughs> it was my first one that I ever made. I like having my videos with stuff in them now that I've made myself, so that's actually pretty cool. Well, thanks for watching my video, and I think I have um, like a little Joanne's haul video next. And um, thanks to everybody who watched my hamster video because that really made me smile and I hope it made you guys smile too and um, just to let you know the little teeny one the one that was named Lily she passed away uh, yesterday on the 30th so we only had her for three days but at least she had a home where she was loved for a couple of days and didn't pass away in the store so we went back and we got another hamster and that one is quite a bit bigger and charcoal black so we named her um cola because she is the color of cola so thanks again everybody have a good day bye